Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. When I say speed, what comes to your mind? If you're a car nerd like me, you would probably imagine a supercar traveling fast. Now, who doesn't love speed? It's a whole different experience. But what do you do when suddenly an obstruction comes on the way? Yes, you'd hit the brakes as hard as you can. The car would stop, but not before skidding for a considerable distance and probably losing the balance as well. When we hit the brakes of the car, we essentially apply force to perform work for stopping the car. But this force is applied to the wheels and once the brakes are engaged completely and the wheels are stopped, the fast moving vehicle starts skidding. Is there another way to stop the car? Well, there is, but we cannot physically see it. It's by using air. The way bodies interact with air while moving through it affects the overall motion of the bodies. This can be seen very clearly in fast moving objects than in slower ones. In earlier days, when the cars were not powerful enough to attain high speeds, the design was not developed aerodynamically. That is why the older cars looked like this. But with advancement and as the speeds increased, the need for aerodynamic bodies increased as well. Aerodynamics is needed to reduce the drag on the bodies moving through fluids. The lesser the drag on the bodies, the easier will be the movement. This drag is a force that acts opposite to the relative movement of a body in a fluid. The more streamlined a body is, the lesser will be the drag force experienced by it. Drag itself is of various types. The one we deal with in the aerodynamics of automobiles is a parasitic drag. It is called so because as opposed to other two types of drags, the parasitic drag is developed by two factors. One being the friction caused by the form or shape of the body and the other being the friction between the skin of the body and the opposing fluid motion. Drag can drastically decrease the speed of a vehicle. Thus, a streamlined body is inherently designed to minimize the drag. The stability of a car is increased by adding spoilers to the car. Spoilers, as the name suggests, spoils or reduces the unwanted airflow over the car. As the air encounters the front part of the car, it moves smoothly over the top and bottom depending on the shape. But as you might have noticed, there is a decrease in slope as the air moves from the top of the car to the back. This sudden decrease can produce turbulent flow behind the car. This causes drag forces to be experienced on the car. The drag force increases as the square of the speed. So the greater the speed, the greater will be the drag force experienced. Now, if a spoiler is added at the back, then, as you can see, the airflow will be comparatively smoother as compared to having no spoiler. This reduces the drag effectively. The drag can also affect the front of the vehicle. But instead of installing a spoiler, the front of the car has air dams which essentially directs the flow to the top and bottom of the vehicle. Now, there's a different device that increases the drag on the vehicle, often confused with the spoiler. This device is called a wing. The aircraft can lift off from the ground by creating a lift from its wings. The wings are shaped like an airfoil. When wings oppose the airflow at an angle, the upper surface experiences faster moving air as compared to the lower surface where the airflow is slower. This difference of velocity causes the upper surface to have lower pressure and the lower surface to have higher pressure, generating a lift as a result. This produces an upward force causing the plane to lift off. Now if we reverse the airfoil, then it will produce a downward force causing the vehicle to stay grounded. This is essentially a wing installed usually on high-speed cars to increase the downforce. A wing helps the vehicle to have better grip while cornering. The downforce achieved in this way is accompanied by drag force. Therefore, it's necessary to maintain a balance between these two to achieve the best performance. With more advanced technology nowadays, these wings can be controlled automatically with the help of motors and change their orientation according to the speed of the car. Such wings are called active wings. These active wings can also have an added function of air brakes which are usually seen in aircrafts. 
but nowadays many hypercars have similar active wings with air brake functions to have better control. One such hypercar is the Pininfarina Battista. Manufactured by Automobili Pininfarina, a subsidiary of Mahindra Group. The Pininfarina Battista is an electric sports car having four individual motors at each wheel, giving a combined output of 1877 horsepower and a range of 451 kilometers on a single charge. It is claimed to accelerate from 0 to 299 km per hour in 12 seconds with a top speed of 349 km per hour. With your hands on the steering wheel of such a beast and the advanced control of active wings, you surely will have the thrill. But unfortunately, only 150 of these are to be manufactured, so good luck having your hands on one of these. Although we cannot give you the thrill of having a car worth 20 million euros, we surely can give you the thrill of priceless knowledge. Take a look in the description below and you will find numerous courses on topics ranging from computational fluid dynamics to external aerodynamics of vehicles to satiate your hunger for knowledge. So check it out and until next time, bye!